On the 583rd day of the war in Ukraine, the fighting was concentrated in these areas. In Bakhmut front, battles are ongoing in the Klishivka kurtyumivka line. Ukrainian forces continue to advance slowly, clearing the Russian positions along the railway in several directions. According to Ukrainian sources, after managing to stop another wave of Russian counterattacks near Klishivka, their forces went on the attack and managed to clear some Russian positions near the forest areas north of the town. In this sector, the battles remain concentrated near the fortifications along the railway line north and east of Klishivka, east of Andrivka as well as north of Kurdyumivka. Ukrainian sources say that because during the last 24 hours the intensity of the Russian counterattacks has decreased, their troops made some tactical advances east of Klishivka, as the fighting is now moving to the other side of the railway. According to Ukrainian sources, but also as confirmed by the Russian source Warganzov, the Ukrainian army has started to make efforts to surround Kurtyumivka, attacking northeast of the town, trying to take some very important strongholds near the village of Zelenopilia. Breaking through the Russian defenses in this direction would allow the Ukrainian forces to cut off the Russian forces in Kurtyumivka and Zelenopilia after taking control of the supply roads east of the two settlements. In the northern part of Bakhmut Front, during the last days, pro-Russian sources, based on a short video published on Telegram, said that the Russian forces managed to enter and capture a part of the village of Orikovo Vasilivka. According to geolocated footage published by pro-Russian sources, this is the view of the first building located on the southeastern outskirts of the village. However, in reality this geolocation is not correct as it does not match the satellite images of that area. So, for the moment, the advance of the Russian forces inside Orikovo Vasilivka is not yet confirmed. On the Zaporizhia front, the Ukrainian army continues the efforts to advance in the direction of Novoprokopivka and Verbove. During the last 24 hours, there have been no visible territorial changes, but according to some pro-Ukrainian sources, their forces were able to establish some control over the northern outskirts of Novoprokopivka, and at the same time, the Ukrainian soldiers are trying to approach the Russian positions in the eastern parts of the town. Looking at the geolocated footage, but also based on some reports coming from Russian sources, it seems that the Ukrainian artillery and drone units have increased the fire control over the Russian positions inside Novoprokopivka and along the trench lines of the main Russian defense, and as a result the Ukrainian forces have managed to destroy several tanks and armored vehicles of the Russian forces during the last few days. Ukrainian forces made new attempts to enter the first buildings in the northeastern part of Novoprokopivka, where they intend to establish a foothold over this area, which is located on a higher ground compared to the current Ukrainian positions northeast of this town. However, because of the Russian response with artillery fire and small counterattacks, it seems that the advance in this direction remains difficult. The Russian artillery remains focused on hitting the Ukrainian supply lines at the rear, trying not to allow a large buildup of Ukrainian forces near Robotine, which could be used to launch a major offensive towards Novoprokopivka. On the other hand, the Russian army engaged another part of their reserves to counterattack from the west towards the Ukrainian-controlled fortifications located southwest of Robotine. Even though the Russian forces did not achieve to gain control over this area, it seems that they are not giving up on their efforts to attack the left flank of the Ukrainian forces, trying to slow down their advance towards Novoprokopivka. On the right flank, the battles continue in the vicinity of Verbove. Some Ukrainian sources suggest that the Ukrainian forces are already operating inside the town, but at the moment this news cannot be confirmed. According to sources from both sides, the Ukrainian army is working to clear the minefields in the areas west and northwest of Verbove in an effort to expand the area in which their armored units can operate, thus preparing the ground for possible larger operations in the coming days. Friends, if you like my daily updates, I kindly ask you to hit the like and subscribe buttons, as this will greatly help the channel to reach a wider audience. That's all for today's update, thank you to my Patreon supporters, and have a great day!